Hey guys, I'm Mike Torello with Click, and in this video, I'm pleased to present what's new in November 2017. It has only been two months since our last release, demonstrating continuous and iterative improvement within our products. Let's quickly break down what's available in November 2017. First, we have some improvements to existing chart types. The first one is within our table object, where you can now scroll left and right when you have multiple columns that exceed the width of the screen resolution. This basically eliminates that selection panel where you would choose different columns to see if your table exceeded the screen width. We have also made some improvements to our distribution plots and box plots. Both of them can now use color by expression. And distribution plots now have the ability to adjust bubble size, as well as jitter, which is a setting to prevent the dots or bubbles from overlapping. Now, a small and welcome change has also been added to our combo charts. You now have the ability to add value labels on top of the points for both axes. Also, we have added some navigation improvements, which allow users to use the keyboard such as the tab and arrow keys to navigate around the user interface. Now, for app builders, you can name the title of the sheets dynamically using expressions. This comes in handy if you want the label to be dynamic based off of variables or expressions that you define within your application. Now, continuing with our visual data preparation enhancements, you now have the ability to add what's known as inline data through a user interface. Something that used to be done within the script editor is now allowing you to cut and paste or add manually rows and columns of data that you can use with other data within your app. This is commonly used when you want to include small data sets for data lookups and also for troubleshooting. Now, continuing with visual data preparation, We've also added the ability to view data lineage. So now you can view additional transformation details of the origin and the expression that results in the final field when you perform those transformations within the interface. And a small but welcome change as well is the ability to add or refresh data directly from edit mode when you're in the ClickSense design interface. Now for developers, those who are familiar with ClickBranch, you will soon see a certification badge that has been added to extensions that have been certified by Click, making it easy to identify the ones that have validated that certification process. Now, in addition to these features, we also have made available a number of new web connectors. These connectors are available in ClickSense Cloud Business as well as ClickSense Cloud Enterprise. To name a few, we have the new Dropbox connector, which I recently created a video on available in the Click community. We also have Amazon Redshift, Google BigQuery, and we also have added a number of additional web connectors. Now, as always, there are a number of different enhancements that I have not spoken about on this video, but can be seen from our release notes. Please go to our Click Help site to view those out. I hope you've enjoyed learning what's new in November 2017 of ClickSense. If you are in need of training, please check out our Click Continuous Classroom, where free modules are available not just for analytics or ClickSense, but also data literacy and big data. Please like and subscribe and comment where this video is posted. We value your opinion and we want to hear from you. And please make sure to join the conversation with myself and others in the Click community. Thanks for your time, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.